May the 4th is the National Day of Prayer, a time for the church to come together in faith, believing for the United States of America. It's the church that makes the difference. It's the church that takes the stand. It's the church that can turn the course of this nation, for they cannot turn it themselves. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He was made a curse for us so that the blessing that was promised to Abraham would come upon the Gentiles through faith. Church, let's use our faith on behalf of the United States against the curse that has come against us. In Deuteronomy 28, we see that the blessing says that the enemy that comes against us one way will flee seven ways. But the curse declares that we will come out and we will be the ones to flee in seven directions. What are the seven ways that the enemy can come against us or the seven ways that we could fail? Well, our family. We have certainly seen the enemy come against the family in this United States. Education. Do we need to explain? Finance, the economy, the inflation, the dollar, the world and global finance situation. Government. My goodness, we can see a government who is bowing the knee to other governments like we have never seen the United States do. Media, who is serving godlessness, arts and entertainment, religion, and church. The scripture tells us that if we will stand in faith, God will move on behalf of us. And so in faith together we stand, declaring that these seven mountains of influence as they're known, that those mountains will be turned by the blessing of the Lord as we stand fast and say, it will not come near us. Our finance will remain stable. Our families will remain strong. The church will be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. And we refuse to allow the enemy to come in. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as your people, we repent before you. We stand before you, we serve you in righteousness and our prayers by faith avail much. We ask in you, Lord, that you help the church to awaken to her place, to resist the enemy in all seven mountains of influence and watch the blessing of the Lord. Empower the church, protect the church, glorify God so that the United States of America can have the greatest awakening the greatest outpouring, the greatest revival that this nation has ever seen, known, or heard of, and lead many other nations into the arms of the Master. In Jesus' name, amen.